Let me ask you a question since I know you asking me questions. Sure. Have you ever seen the word apartheid in that constitution? I have searched it very closely and I have not. Have you ever seen the word atrocities in that constitution? No. You know why you haven't seen it? It's because that constitution with all the other nice things that we have is a lullaby song to ensure the continued survival of white power. It's a product of a negotiated Orwellian manipulation of the former colonized masses to like what's coming, but to live at their own expense and accept it. That's sure. the, for me, that's the document. Mm. And I keep saying this, mm. watch very closely in South Africa, who praises this constitution? Which NGOs tell us this is the best? Which individuals tell us this is the best? And you go to Mdanzani now and pick up an old lady who has a pit toilet. Tell them they live in a country with the best constitution and you'll see what she'll tell you. Go to an NGO, these white NGOs that pretend they are not political when all they are extensions of white power who say they protect the constitution. They protect it because it's a document they value, because it maintains what they stole, what they have. And so we need to move beyond it. And I'm not saying hmm. we should, well, first of all, I'm saying hmm. we should do away with it. Hmm. We should rewrite it. Wow. Because it's an important document, what I call our post-colonial theory. Yeah. Our post-colonial framework. But this post-colonial framework is truly and fundamentally, if you look at it closely, anti-black and pro-white power. That's... Quite, quite the statement, and uh, it's it's incredible to hear you. I've heard you in other interviews and and your thinking, but it feels like you are now at the point where you have now, you're no. just done with this thing. Uh, I'm and done with it. I think a lot of people will will be shocked, but also will 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 think, okay, this is scary because if we dispense with this blueprint, where to? But I'm quite interested and I'm quite excited by the prospect of what happens when we start thinking beyond the limits that we have set for ourselves over the last 30 years and and start saying how do we get beyond this because this is not working I think everyone can see if if if, yeah, no. if, if this is your idea of, of a society that's that's working then then your idea is broken 